Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 9 of Redstone Super Flat Survival. And I have done so much things off camera. First of all, I mined out a very, very large area, and I got cobblestone, lots of it, which will um, help me build the second layer of my mob grinder, which I will be attending to now. Another thing what I did is I actually, I created a um, better way of getting down, so I don't like running down. I don't always want to run down. I can sometimes also go inside here and just like, and, and I also put some torches on the sides right here just because I like it when there's light, even though mobs can't spawn in here because there's no blocks um, for them to spawn on. I still like it that like there is um, light so I can actually see how far down I'm going. This is just around chest crafting. And this is everything that I mined out. So what I did is I um I mined all of this area out, which took me an immensely long amount of time. And what I did, I connected it to this part right here, which goes up here, so I can come down um, here and then just climb up the stairs like so. But I ran out of torches just for this area, so I did not mine just this small chunk out, but it really did take a very, very long time to mine it out. Let me check my statistics for my items, how much stone I have mined. Let's see, times used. Um, so I have... Uh, so I have used the stone pickaxe 2,609 times, and let's see, times crafted, huh, let's see, stone is somewhere around here, oh yes, blocks, yeah, I have, um, I have mined 1,885 stone uh, currently, which is quite a bit of stone. But, of course, I need more stone, because the more stone, the better, because I... The bigger my mob grinder, the better my mob drops, and the more chance of getting rare drops, and just basically more stuff is better. So in this episode, I will be stacking my mob grinder just as soon as I mine this up, because I hate it how it's not all square. Looks like my pickaxe broke. Let me just take that, and I hope I didn't bore you guys out. That's not too much to mine out. Anyway, let me just plop some torches down, let's see, plop a torch down right here, uh, let's see, yeah, it's good, so, um, Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is, I, I'm going to climb up here, let me see, so I can climb up all the way right over here, now what I need to do is, this is the hard part, let me just craft a bit of, um, sandstone slabs, just in case, so now the hard part is, I have to find the exact center of this, um, grinder, so let's see, since this is, so it needs to be eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, that means these four blocks is, nope, nope, oh, there's one with an enchanted, nope, let me see, so this is actually the one, yep, just be careful not to fall down here, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to mark this spot off with some cobblestone. And, of course, I can not get up here. So this is the center, going to be the center of our spawner here. So that means, let me see. So, yeah, I'm going to just extend this out all the way here. And I'm not sure how we're going to get it work because we have this um, ladder here. So I'm just... 
I'm just thinking how I'm gonna stack this. This is actually the first time that I'm actually stacking a design like this. So, I'm just going to have it, like, the same as the one bottom there. Let me just see that right here. Like that, like so. And, oh my god, I almost just fell. Anyway, um, this is pretty difficult to stack this design. I'm pretty scared. And the sandstone really blends in with the sandstone down there, making it very easy to accidentally fall down, which really sucks. I hope I can finish this in this day, because what's gonna suck, what's gonna be really bad if I leave this like that to go down, then mobs are gonna spawn here. And, of course, you can hear all these mobs down there who don't, like, completely don't, um, who don't fall down. So, let me see. I think I need to put down a slab. Yes. So, I'm just gonna put some down some slabs right here just so I can access this area. Um, let's see. So, I'm gonna place this down here. Um, so then I'm going to just wall this off like I usually do with each one of my grinders. This is definitely easier to stack than building the first one because when building the like when I when building the first layer, I had to build a tube, but now I don't have to build that drop tube because this one is going to feed into that same drop tube as the bottom one did. And also what's going to happen is I'm not going to like worry about falling down because before when I was building the first layer if I fell down here I would die but now there's the bottom layer over there although it is still pretty easy to fall it's still pretty dangerous I still there's just insurance from the sandstone slabs just right over here and I do not want to bore you guys out so what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut filming and then return when I have almost built the grinder hello and welcome back and this is what I have done with my grinder. It's sunrise now. I spent the whole night building it. I made sure to light up all of the platforms just in case so no mobs spawn or anything like that. Because, well, I am kind of like out of stone right now, so... Which is really bad. I'm out of stone. I couldn't finish the mob grinder. Because uh, I need uh, slabs to slab up the whole ceiling. And I don't think I'm going to have enough slabs even with a 54 sandstone. I don't want to be slabbing it up uh, using sandstone slabs. And even then I'm just going to run out of the sandstone slabs anyway. So what I thought I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go and have to mine more cobblestone unfortunately. I'll just kill a skeleton right here. Yay, and he dropped a bow. No, no, no. W where, where did our chicken go? Our chicken despawned. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I really didn't think our chicken would despawn. Unfortunately. I don't know why it despawned. It was technically a glitch, so I'm, I'm not sure, guys. Should I, um... Should I, like, spawn back the chicken since it, like, despawn due to a glitch or should I just like um not not spawn it through the creative inventory well technically it, it wouldn't really be cheating because it's it's like well because I lost it due to a glitch anyway oh, looks we got more cobblestone here um, I technically I technically lost it due to a glitch anyway so I'm just thinking should I or should I not actually spawn it in using the creative menu? I, I think I shouldn't because I don't really need chickens anyway and feathers because, I mean, what do chickens drop? They drop, like, eggs. Um, they drop, um, I don't really need eggs because, like, well, why? I mean, that's only used for, like, food items, but I already have carrots. Uh, the same thing with chicken meat. I, I don't really need it. I already have carrots as a food source and rotten flesh. And the feathers are useless as well because, I mean, they're mainly used for crafting arrows. And even then, I don't have flint for that. So, technically, I don't really have any use for chickens. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and mine more cobblestone until I get, like, I don't know, um, 
around five more stacks or so, and then I'll just come back because it's pretty boring to see me mine cobbles all the time. Hello, this is my Felix, and welcome back. And oh my god, we just have so much mobs here. And how the heck do there's even freaking there's even an Enderman in there. How did he spawn? Yeah, so we got some enchanted armor ones, we got Buildings all off. I really hope the Enderman doesn't spoil it for us. Okay, okay, let me, let me. Oh, I really want to get. Please, please, please. I really want to get an iron. Please get me an iron. I really need iron. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, oh, oh that, that creeper almost. Yes, I got a potato. I got a potato. Oh crap. I just heard one almost explode. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, let's see, do we have any... Oh, we have a bow. So let me just block that off right here. Just because, um, it, it might be an enchanted bow. Just in case. Oh uh, no, it turned out to be a crappy bow, but, um... So glad we got it. We gotta take this off right here. And yeah, what I was doing is uh, I was just, um, I was like AFKing down here, so I was just standing, like, right here's my AFK cell, I would just go like this, and then I would go, um, I actually went to eat lunch, and then I was standing here for like three hours, after a while there's like so much mobs in here, just like you saw just now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to... But, oh, oh, I, I just forgot something. Um, I was actually going to mine cobblestone, but that didn't really turn out well because I ran out of torches. So I'm going to go off camera again in a while just because I don't want to, to bore you guys out um, mining cobblestone. Um, I got more wool. Let me see. Yes, I have 21 carpet now. We're on our way to having a carpet house. And here's one of my most prized possessions. I got uh, two ender pearls. I got um, I got one. I think. Let me see. I can fix those two bows up to make a, a good bow. Anyway, so when I was like, when I was running around, I saw an enderman, and then I just decided to come up and kill the enderman, and then that's how I um, got this, uh, these two ender pearls. But, I really did not really do what I actually really wanted to, just mo to mine, to mine, um, cobblestone, which I did not do, but what I can do now is, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know where all my, I used to have, like, a stack of, um, ladders, I don't know where all that went, let's see. Yeah, now I have a stack of torches, which is great, so now I have a potato, and that is just amazing. So I can just go outside here, grab my hoe. Um, grab some bone meal, hoe that stuff up, and then just make potatoes. Uh, and what I think I'm going to do is I think that baked potatoes is going to be my number one source of food in this map. Because in the survival um, game, because I just like baked potatoes, and baked potatoes is my number one food source in Skyblock, so I might as well just use potatoes as baked potatoes as well. Because potatoes, um, big potatoes, they're very compact, and they replenish much more hunger compared to just, um, carrots. But I do have to bake them, which requires a fuel source, meaning that I will need, um, planks to bake them. But the planks, I just, I like baked potatoes. And, um, even though it does take planks to bake them, it's, I think, it's a win-win situation, because I will get, like, I think that a, uh, a stack of baked potatoes has about the same nutritional qualities in Minecraft as two stacks of carrots, so I think it will save, uh, space on my inventory, which will be great. Of course, this isn't very efficient, because I always have to farming them like this because I always have to switch the I always have to switch the um, slot but what I'm gonna do is when I get enough redstone I'm gonna set up a redstone clock so then I just switch a lever and then I never have to um 
I just have to uh, fill up a dispenser with some bone meal and then just have that. And of course, let's see, nope, couldn't get that one. Yeah, of course, but definitely the drawback with the potatoes is that I get poisonous potatoes, which are completely useless. Now I just like to stomp that out because um, next time I'm probably going to be using um, I'm probably going to be using this to grow trees. And right here, my agriculture chest. I need to um, let's go turn some all these bones into bone meal. I need that. Let's see, let me just place that right here, right like that, like that. And I'm gonna place some. Um, I'm gonna place two carrots here, two potatoes here for when we need to farm them. This is where my uh, growing chest is for this. Um, that revolves all around this um this dirt right here. So let's go and bake that. Let me see. No, I'm just gonna put it. Um, I don't know where I should. Put it. No, I'm just gonna put my poisonous potato somewhere right here. I don't like to throw them away because they're definitely, they're a bit rare. I won't say they're useful, but they're still rare, so. Let me see, I think I'm gonna need a bit more planks here. Let's just grab all that up. I think we should be good. We're running, we are almost always running low on um, planks and trees. They're always useful. And looks like by the time we got some more um, spawns going here, I really have to be careful with the um, creepers here, because if they explode, then that's going to mess everything up, and then it's going to be just horrible. Uh, we're getting already up to two, and um, and even more stacks of gunpowder, but still, like, things like arrows and bones, and wow, I'm, I'm pretty good on arrows now. I used to have little arrows, but now let me just place one right here. I always need to have one right here in case I uh, shift-click that in, it's going to instantly go in. Um, let's see what that's going, um, I'm going to put this inside my chest for food, or here's my apple. I don't eat apples, I don't, I'm only going to use them for, um, golden apples for curing villagers. And look at that enderman, maybe we can kill him. Let's see. Come on, come on. Y yeah, he just, yeah, he just teleported away. I don't like, I don't like having this, um, thing right here. So this was like a long time ago I made this here, so... Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to patch that up. Um, let's see. I am, though, still going to put in one um, cobblestone in just to remind myself that there's like an underground um, place down here just in case if I ever need it. And what I was thinking, guys, is that um, I'm planning to go to the Nether soon. But to go to the Nether, I have to use the glitch where I get obsidian from redstone. <laughs> Uh, but, even though some people might say that's cheating, but since the glitch got removed in 1.8, and I am playing in 1.8.9, what I'm going to have to do this time is I am actually going to have to, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to have to, let's see, I think I'm going to have to uh, spawn in obsidian from the creative inventory, and I'm just thinking right now, like, what, how should I light the, how should I light the portal? Well, since I don't have lava or anything like that, um, well, I don't know, technically I can go, um, if, if I do manage to find, um, a dungeon or, um, or an end portal, uh, I mean, uh, a stronghold, then there's gonna be water and lava in there, and then I'm not gonna have to use any glitches, but it's almost impossible to find, um, an end portal, I mean a stronghold, um, without using Eye of Ender, and the only way we can get Eye of Ender is if we go to the nether and craft in, um, ender pearls with, a uh, blaze powder, so I'm thinking, um, but to get blaze powder, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to kill some blazes, uh, and find a nether fortress, so what I thought is, maybe we could do either of two things, we can either spawn in, um, we can either get enough redstone and then throw the redstone out and then spawn in obsidian, which will be cheating too. Or what I can do is I can just, um, I can give myself just a few blaze rods. Like, I think I can give myself, like, two blaze rods from the creative inventory. So then that way I can, um, craft it in together with the ender pearls so then I can manage to find, like, so I can, um, 
so I can like find um some a stronghold and then from there take the lava to go to the nether but that would be still cheating but um I would I wouldn't really call it cheating I would just call it alone because when I get the when I get when I like when I spawn inside myself some blaze rods I'm gonna go to the nether and get myself some blaze rods and then throw them off like I'm gonna throw them away like that um, because it, it's it's kind of gonna be alone like I'm gonna take uh, only two blaze rods but then I'm gonna uh, get four blaze rods and throw them off the platform or I don't know um, so it'll be fair because I don't really want to be cheating or anything but for the sake of this let's play and it's all dark what is this oh that was close yeah, that was a close one. So for the sake of this let's play, I think that I... Let me just collect these drops over here. Um, so I think that for the sake of this let's play, um, it's going to be more fun. And I don't think that, like, it's like, oh my god, um... Oh my god, my Kralik spawned in, like, like two blaze rods. He's such a cheater, but, um... I'm just doing this so it'll be more interesting. I don't know, or, or maybe I could have just spawned in a chest in the beginning of the map. That would, um, I mean, in the beginning, like, on the first episode, I could have maybe spawned in a chest with two blaze rods. I don't know. But all I gave myself was one tree, so I think it's going to be fair if I just give myself just one more resource. And I'm not even going to give myself a lot of that resource. Just only going to give myself two blaze rods. Just enough to craft them together with an ender pearl. Um, because that's going to make, um, four blaze powder, and that's going to make four, um, eyes of ender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and kill some more, um, endermen to get, um, to get that, those ender pearls, and oh my god, just right as I said, I'm gonna go kill more endermen, so much endermen spawned, so anyway, let me just, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take potion of healing, because this is dangerous, I'm gonna put on my golden helmet, I'm all geared up, uh, let's see, I'm gonna get myself, I'm gonna get myself those baked potatoes, let's see, I'll reorganize like that, so in case if we, um, if we're close to dying, we can always just go and, um, replenish our health okay 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 let's follow him out here let's let's follow him out here just have him come over here okay let's kill him ouch 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 okay i think i'm gonna have to he's still angry at me he's still angry where did he go? I really need that. Okay, let's just put that torch back here. Why are they like killing me? Like, what? Ow. Oh, okay, I still see him. I still see him. I just need to regen a bit before I can go outside, unfortunately. I'm not gonna use, of course, potion of healing. That's gonna it's too expensive for me. Let's see. Ah, uh, finally I can kill that stupid. Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay, let's kill him before. Okay, okay. Okay, there's there's another Enderman. We still we still have we still have another chance at this. I don't know where the other one went at. Oh there you go. You finally came back. Yes. Aw, oh, come on, and no no pearls. So sad. I really expected to get some pearls. Okay, there's some creepers over there. Gotta kill them off. Just in case, because I don't want to. Oh, oh, he's angry. Probably because... Oh, oh. Oh, that almost killed us. I had, like, half a health left. Yeah, unfortunately, we did have to use our, um, potion of healing on that, because I don't feel safe at one health. I have, like, half a health bar around Enderman, so I did have to, um... Yeah, cure myself after that. Okay, get the heck out of here, spider. Let's get some string. Yay, you dropped an eye. Okay, let's get those, um... Let's get those endermen. Okay, let's get him angry. Alright, follow me in here so I can, like, kill you. Come on, come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, come on. Yes! Ah, the zombie got it. The zombie got it. Yeah. We finally got it. We got an ender pearl. So now we have three. We need uh, one more. Let me see. Let me just organize all that. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna place uh let's see like so like so then put more string in there. Um I'm I'm all like I'm all hurt from all these arrows that I got shot at. Let's make some carpet, some more carpet, add that to our carpet place. Then add that one string. Let's see add that bow right here. Uh, if ever I need to um fix any bows. Let me see some bones right over here. Let's collect all of the rest of these baked potatoes from here. Yep, we have two potatoes in here as well, just in case not poison potato there. Maybe I should uh, grow more you know, tree, so I'm gonna take the golden helmet off because I only use it for when it's very dangerous. And of course, the golden helmet doesn't last much; it's almost all over, but uh, it still protected us just a bit. Let me just take that out of there. Our sword is all like so, like at one. Um, we'll just use it on these right here. Yep, it broke. It, um, our sword broke now, so let's craft another one in. Just make one more. Let's see. Uh, I really do need to go down and mine more cobble. I really want to finish that mob grinder. I really don't like how it's unfinished. I hope no mobs spawn there up there while I was um. But I did light it all up just in case. So what I thought is that um the episode has been going on for a very long time. We've got many, many things. We finally got ender pearls. Um, we uh, we got three ender pearls. Um, I got a potato. We killed some endermen. I'm expanding my pla I'm expanding my mob grinder. And since I need to go mine my more uh, cobblestone, what I think I'll do is I'll finish the episode here. So thank you for watching. There's still that arrow sticking out of my back. So thank you all for watching. This is Minecralix, and see you all in the next episode.